Spoilers finally for One Piece chapter 1084, guys. Holy, these spoilers are actually looking insane. I do just want to point out something before we jump into them, guys. That there is a confirmed break next week, which means we are most likely not we are not going to get One Piece spoilers next week. However, when One Piece is usually on break, the spoilers for the following week actually do come out. A little bit earlier so i would not be surprised if spoilers for one piece chapter 1085 actually came out around sunday or saturday may 27th may 28th i will hopefully be back by then and guys i'm so excited for one piece because this week's chapter is actually insane before we jump into it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for supporting my One Piece journey. So let's just jump straight into it. Alright, yo, jumping straight into it. The title of the chapter is 1084 Attempted Murder of a 10 Ryubito. Now, obviously, 10 Ryubito is the Celestial Dragons, the, the, the people, the world nobles of the world. Yo, the chapter with a title like that, uh, attempted murder of a 10 Ryubito, like, actually insane already. But unfortunately, it isn't it isn't who you think it is. Anyway, the color spread, as we know, One Piece is on the color page of uh, this week's Shonen Jump, is the One Piece girls playing in the sea ain't no way oda oda oh sorry goda he literally drew it the apparently the cover is literally just the girls so nami uh fuck off the top of my head probably uh all of the other ones as well and they're literally just playing in the sea. Like, what is going on? I need to see this. I kind of do hope Carrot's in there as well. Now, listen, don't call me a furry. But Carrot was actually a really peak character. I'm kind of sad she didn't join the Straw Hat crew. Anyway, uh, the start of the chapter continues off the Sabo flashbacks. He's talking to Dragon and Ivankov. Uh, Cobra, so we're in that flashback. Cobra talks to the Gorsei about Queen Lily of Arabasta. Now, what's, something that's interesting here is, is that we're technically in a flashback of a flashback. Shouldn't we be seeing this stuff, Sanji? Uh, not Sanji. The stuff that Thingy sees. So why are we seeing Cobra talk to the Gorsei? Which is really, really uh, weird. I, I don't know if that's kind of weird for anyone else or not, but that is somewhat kind of weird. But anyway, let's just jump straight into it. So, Cobra talks to the Gorosei about Queen Lily of Arabasta. Apparently, Queen Lily was one of the 20 founders of the world government in the past, but refused to become a celestial dragon. She refused basically to become a world noble. She refused to become a Tenru Yubuto. Queen Lily went missing after leaving the country... Cobra asks the Goro, say where she went, but they say they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Now, that is obviously a flat-out lie, but it actually might be real. We'll get into that at the end. Uh, Charlo say captures Shirohoshi. Charlo said, for those of you that guys are pretty bad memory, including myself. If you guys don't remember, Carlos is the guy, or Charlos, or however the hell you say his name. Charlos is the guy that Luffy punched at Sabori Archipelago when Luffy declared war against the Celestial Dragons and, and all the admirals came after him. That's who Charlos is. Uh, so that guy, again, is causing problems and he captures Shirohoshi, the mermaid. Uh, but Sai and Leo, who are in the, the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, defeat him and save Shirohoshi. Now, the title of the chapter, going back to it, is most likely a reference to this, because uh, the title of the chapter, as you all know, is chapter 184, Attempted Murder of a Celestial Dragon, at Tenru Yubito. So, uh, that's probably what the title of the chapter refers to, Sai and Leo uh, defeating Charlos. Now, obviously, they're both part of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, so... Uh, I'm not entirely too sure how that's going to affect Luffy, but that's going to be fucked. 
Anyway, uh, back to the revolutionaries. Morley and Sabo, I'm guessing, freeze Kuma. So this is when they freed Kuma. We're getting a few flash, more flashbacks of the revolutionaries. Obviously, there is way more in this chapter. This is just the base of what's happening in the chapter. And this is where we get interesting. At the end of the chapter, Eam appears. Bro, what? Eam appears and talks to Cobra. Eam says, Lily. And apparently that's the final word, the final thing in the chapter. And the chapter just ends there, break next week. Now, something that I mentioned earlier, that maybe the Gorosei aren't actually lying. Uh, so, Lily was the queen of Arabasta when the, when the world was founded. When the 20 founders of the world, government in the past, put down their swords and declared that none of them would be king and queen. That the world will be uh, run by the world nobles and stuff like that. Uh, so, the fact that Eam appears and says Lily and knows of Lily kind of makes me believe that Eam, whoever he is, was there. Like, all those, all that time ago. I think, if I remember correctly, it's like 500 years uh, before the current start of the story, story when 170 civilizations pledged to the world government, uh, the 20 founders of the world. So... I kind of want to believe that the fact that Eam knows and the Gorosei, even though the Gorosei are hella old, have no idea who Lily is or what happened to her. I want to believe that Eam does, which kind of makes me believe that Eam was around 800, 900 years ago, or at the very least, the descendant of Eam was around 800, 900 years ago when the world government uh, started when the world government like came to be so it, it kind of does does make me believe that or it could just mean that from the very beginning uh the system was corrupt uh there was never it was never meant to be obviously the 20 founders of the world government uh putting down their swords on the empty throne so it kind of makes me believe that it was just corrupt from the very start but the fact that im knows about lily Shit, bro. Uh, some people are saying... Uh, I'm seeing some theories now that... Yo, people are saying, yo, is Im actually Queen Lily of Arabasta? But, I mean... Unless he actually is, like, 500, 600 years old. Uh, I don't... I don't understand... I don't know when. I don't know why or uh, how he would be alive for that long. So, that would be uh, kind of crazy. So... Yeah, I mean, that is, that is literally the smallest of One Piece Chapter 1084. What do you guys think of it? I, I'm excited to see uh, more of Sabo and the revolutionaries freeing Kuma. Kind of unfortunate what happened to Kuma in the recent chapters. But I guess we'll see what Goda has planned for that. I'm excited to see the, the color page as well. Oh my god, the color page looks... Sounds amazing. Um, We now know exactly why Cobra was murdered. Because obviously he met him. Like, this is a guy... That nobody knows about. The only people that know of Im Sama are the five elders of the world government who are apparently supposed to be the rulers. So only they, as far as we know, know about Im. So it, it's obvious why Cobra had to die. But I'm guessing next chapter in 1085, uh, we're going to probably skip over Cobra's death. But we're finally maybe going to see im a little i i don't think im will be revealed in this chapter uh like his silhouette i think if oda is gonna reveal him he's gonna reveal him next chapter but i still don't i still think it's a little too early for him to reveal im i kind of hope we get to see uh the holy knights pretty soon i wonder if they came to stop the revolutionaries but i highly doubt that as well uh but anyway if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe my name is always peace